What's up guys, my name is Glassfoot, and welcome back to... Hold up, I feel like I'm missing something. This feels... much better. Welcome back to another critical review. This time, of WandaVision. As we all know, the finale just aired yesterday for me, because that's when I'm filming it, because time constraints. Anyway, WandaVision is the latest part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it follows Wanda as her and Vision embark through sitcoms from the 50s to the 2000s. Okay, in reality, Wanda may have accidentally created an alternate universe within the town that she's living in because grief. By the way, spoilers in this video, if you haven't seen WandaVision and are for whatever reason watching this video about WandaVision, I presume you've seen it, so spoilers. So the show takes place in this effective alternate reality that Wanda created because she was just full of grief and sadness because she lost her brother. Then she had to kill her boyfriend who got his ass rewound by Thanos in the Time Stone so he was alive again and watched Thanos rip the stone out of his head before snapping everything away and then coming back and finding out that her boyfriend's body has been stolen by the government and she's not even allowed to have it back to bury him because he, according to them, doesn't even count as a living sentient being, despite the fact that he very much was. Yeah, I very much sympathize with Wanda in this series. And honestly, the show overall is really, really good. There are a lot of things that are set up for the future, like the Fantastic Four has effectively been set up. I am convinced that Monica's engineer friend that she kept talking about is Reed Richards, despite the fact that we don't get to see him in the show. I think that would have been awesome if we did get to see him. Mutants have kind of been set up but also kind of not. What I was hoping for was a House of M style event where Wanda cre took the Nexus and spread it across the entire planet before it dissipated. That way, everyone went through it and it would have activated latent mutant abilities within people. Personally, that's what I wanted. That didn't happen, so I'm assuming somehow we're gonna get it set up in the Eternals. I hope. Honestly, I thought the show did a really, really good job for setting up the mystery that was what the hell is going on. We are never just out and out shown offhand what is happening. It very much takes its time to build up to the reveal of what's going on. And then in episode six or seven, whenever Agatha gets revealed, I thought that worked really well. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of Agatha being the villain because it felt very much like they went haha surprise twist which for me doesn't work very well to me personally i know agatha as the person that taught wanda how to use her magic and the caretaker of franklin richards the son of reed and sue of reed richards and sue storm so the fact that they made her into the villain I thought didn't work very well personally, but that's also because of my knowledge from the comics. She might be a villain at some point in the comics. I don't know. As far as I know, she is only more of a neutral force in the series. Also, you had Haywood set up as this villain, and then he didn't really do much outside of wanting to kill the Vision and Wanda because douche. His hatred of superpowered folk was kind of just a Thing. I, I don't think it played a ton into the story overall outside of his sudden mistrust and dislike of Monica, though you easily could have done that with her trying to reach out as opposed to just being on his side of gung-ho kill everyone. Though she has a very good point of we don't know what would have happened if Wanda had just died. That could have been bad. <laughs> also, Haywood, I thought it was kind of funny that he was like, no, no, I am the hero, I am the good guy, Wanda's the villain, yet he was willing to just murder two children? Like, the fuck? All the characters in this I thought were really, really well done. Darcy was hilarious, I thought redeemed herself from the two Thor movies. Though to be fair to her, the Thor movies aren't really that character's fault. That, that was just bad writing, there was nothing she could have done there. Jimmy Woo from Ant-Man and the Wasp, he was awesome, and with him becoming a more prevalent part of the MCU, I'm really hoping for the Agents of Atlas, because 
that would be amazing. Wanda's arc set up with her new super suit at the end. I call it a super suit. New costume. Um, her Scarlet Witch outfit, which officially makes her the Scarlet Witch. They gave her the headpiece and everything. I'm really stoked about that. I want to see where this goes. This looks to be tying into Multiverse of Madness pretty much directly, which I'm going to be cool to see. I'm wondering what they're going to do with the arc of her children. Because in the comics... And this is where it gets really confusing. What's up, future Glassfoot in editing? Uh, what I'm about to explain is extremely confusing. If you'd like more information and more of an explanation on this, go to Comic Drake's video on this exact topic. I'm actually going to link that video in the description down below. Also, I'm going to talk about White Vision later in this video as well. If you would like information on White Vision and his comic book origin, again, go to Comic Drake. I will also link that video in the description down below. Thanks, enjoy the rest of the video. In the comics, her children are parts of Mephisto who was scattered to pieces and so she managed to pull those parts of his soul out of the universe and form the twins because she wanted to have children with vision they then got absorbed by another demon became his arms and then after defeating that guy their souls got scattered to the wind i believe technically sent backwards in time where they were born to separate families but at the same time with Tommy getting super speed and Billy slash William, as I will always know him, getting Wanda's kind of abilities, becoming speed and Wiccan respectively. But I am wondering if they are going to adapt the going to hell to save them storyline, because that would be absolutely hilarious to me. Also, I do kind of like how they resolved the fight with Vision in the show, where as opposed to just beating and breaking the white Vision that we got, Vision used facts and logic by basically getting him to think about the ship of Theseus paradox, which states that if you have a ship and over time as it rots, you replace all of the parts, then you take all of the old parts and rebuild the ship which is the true ship of Theseus? Is it the one that has been rebuilt over time, or is it the one made out of all the original parts? Which I think is a very interesting concept, and it's a fun paradox, but also Vision uploaded all of his memories into the White Vision, so I'm wondering how they're going to adapt that, because in the comics, this actually did kind of happen. Vision effectively lost all of his memories, got put into a white body, and became kind of just this emotionless robot. He eventually did gain his memories and sentient and ability to understand human stuff back but he decided to remain emotionless so i'm wondering if this new white version of the vision that we have in the mcu is going to choose to remain an emotionless shell or if he's going to embrace the personality that the original vision had i'm just interested to see where it goes in the future also i'm so happy monica rambeau is now officially a superhero in the mcu i don't know if they're going to use photon or spectrum as her hero name i think it's going to be spectrum but that's only because her mother in the mcu used the code name photon and i don't think she's going to want to take that from her so i believe that it's going to be spectrum going forward if she gets a hero name at all some things i personally did not like about wandavision overall i already mentioned the agatha harkness being the surprise twist villain because that personally bothered me a little bit also the kind of deus ex mach in a way that wanda defeated her by making runes despite that she actively said in like the episode previous i don't use magic and spells like that which kind of goes against her character from the comics but at the same time it doesn't i think in the comics she actually has reality warping capability which is hilarious but also fietro was just a dude like i believe if i'm correct about this it's revealed that fiedro is just agnes's husband or agatha's husband ralph but at the same time like as fans of marvel movies we got confused because fiedro is the actor playing quicksilver from the like fox x-men movies but in the mcu he was just a dude who said he was pietro and she believed him like 
What? That just causes more confusion at the end, in my opinion. I don't know. That just caused me personal confusion, and I didn't like it very much. But at the end of the day, that's not the biggest deal in the world. Overall, I found WandaVision to be an extremely entertaining show, and if you, for whatever reason, haven't seen it, I would say go ahead. Though if you're an MCU fan, you probably have already watched it. I'm personally stoked for Falcon and the Winter Soldier in a couple weeks, but those are also because those are some of my favorite characters from the comics, and I'm think that's going to be dope. I'm just really interested to see where this goes, because if this ties directly into Multiverse of Madness, I'm wondering if Wanda is going to still be haunted by some of the imagery that we see throughout WandaVision. Namely, these two images right here of the dead Vision and Pietro's bodies. Those were creepy. But I am very interested to see where the shows go from here, what uh, Marvel does, with just these shows in general. I am personally excited about it. I hope you guys are as well. But yeah. And those are kind of my thoughts on WandaVision. I have not been able to do one of these videos in a long time. So I apologize if it comes off as way too rambly and just kind of random out there nonsense, yada, yada, yada. But that's kind of my thoughts in general. But yes. I'm excited for the future of the MCU. I really want to see where it goes. I'm hoping once we get the Eternals film, mutants get set up a heck of a lot better than they were. I was hoping for House of M, but sadly that didn't happen. But I'm also biased. House of M is one of my favorite comic events of all time because I thought it was cool. I don't care if others didn't like it. I thought it was dope. Tell me your guys' opinion on WandaVision down in the comments below. I enjoyed it, but you might not. So let me know. That's all I have for now, guys. I hope that you guys have a fantastic fucking day. And as always, peace out, guys.